Alrighty. All right. Can you guys all hear me? Can I get a thumbs up? Awesome. Hell yeah. All right. Let me just admit everyone here. All righty, dudes and dudettes, let's get this rolling. All righty. So my name is um, Coach Ben. That is not my birth name. So my name is Ben Perry. Um, and we're going to go through another session of uh, footwork and finishing. All right, so the sun's out, gun's out there a little bit. I can see uh, absolute popping muscles from you guys. You guys have been here in the gym going crazy that's awesome all right so we're just going to get after it for about 40 45 minutes today all right we're going to get a lot of uh finishing obviously uh and get a lot of layups we're going to look like little Kyrie Irving's little Diane Taurasi's and we're going to absolutely kill it so to start off with all right before we do anything okay we're going to warm up all right so oh that was, that was tough getting up all right before we start we just need to warm up so put your ball in a safe spot Make sure you're all doing that. All right, so everybody chuck your ball in a nice, safe spot. And I do have to remind you, all righty, to mute your mic. I do enjoy your voices, but Zoom does not. All righty. So to start off with, guys, all righty, we're just going to jog on the spot. All right, I don't have a skipping rope with me today. So we're just going to jog on the, on the spot for about 20 seconds. All right, just like this. Here we go. 20 seconds on spot. Alrighty, let's warm up, get the blood flowing. Oh, you look like spastics in front of our neighbors. That's what we love. Alrighty, to do that for 15 more seconds. All right, let everyone in. Alrighty, great stuff. Great stuff. Alrighty, five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty. We're going to do high knees on the spot now. High knees on the spot. All right, for 15 seconds, just like this. Driving those knees up. All righty, really driving them. Loosening, uh, loosening out those, those hammies, the glutes. All right, all those explosive muscles. All right, good job. Keep going, keep going. Good. Great work. Here we go, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're going to do the opposite. It's our hands behind our butts. All right, and we do do, uh, do some butt kicks. All right, just like this. Yeah, those quads loose. All righty. It's a real, it's a real tough one on the spot, but it doesn't really matter. All righty, we're going to do about fifteen seconds of this. Really get the blood flowing. So keep that going, guys. Great work. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. All righty. So now, okay, we're going to get those groins and the duct is nice and loose. All right. So we're going to do side lunges. All right. Just like this. All right. We're going to hold for three seconds one side and then switch sides. And we're going to do three each leg. All right. So we're going to start on our right leg. One, two, Three, one, two, three. That's one. We're going to do two more on each leg. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Now, with the warm ups, guys, it really is just dependent on you. All right, it does sound a bit cliche, all right, but everyone's going to be different. For me, I have tight hips. So I like to warm up my hips before training. All right, other guys have bad shoulders. Um, obviously, there's a general warm-up, but there's going to be stuff you're going to all want to add in yourself. And as you progress throughout your careers, you're going to, you know, have little injuries and whatnot that's going to hold you back a little bit. So uh, physios and, um, uh, you know, exercise. And just, they're going to give you some exercise to do before games. So everyone's going to be a little bit different. All right, so this isn't exactly what you have to do, but we're going to do knee pulls. All right, walk a few steps, knee pulls, 
we're going to do 30 seconds of this. I right, we're just alternating legs. I right, normally I like to go half court and back with this, but obviously not everyone has that sort of space. All right. So just pull that knee for a few seconds. Try not to fall over like I just did. I right, walk back, do the same thing. I right, do about 10 more seconds of this. Then we can get into the fun stuff because I'm, <laughs> I'm like a lot of you. All righty. I, uh, I don't particularly enjoy stretching that much. But as I've gotten a bit older, and I'm still pretty young, I'm still 21, all righty, um, I have started to realise the importance of it. All right. But I do not enjoy it that much. In all honesty, don't tell Jared Moss. All righty. So now we're going to grab our feet and do heel pulls. All right. Take a few steps. Heel pull. Good job. 30 seconds of this, guys. Stretching is jump. fun for me. <laughs> Stretching might be fun for you, my uh, guy. Every, every basketball thing's fun. Exactly. Yep. All righty. Exactly. I love the fan interaction. So now we're going to do heel pulls. Make sure all our mics are muted, guys, unless we've got questions. I don't really want to hear cars in the background, as awesome as that is. All righty. Heels to the butt again. Five, four, three, two. One. All right, now, everyone grab your basketball. All right, now we're going to get into the fun stuff. All right, the basketball-related stuff. All right, so remember last week? Last week was a bit of a difficult session. It was hard to explain on the run. So now we're going to try and do the same things, um, make some adjustments. All right, and we're going to try and make it a little bit more difficult for some of you because some of you are actually killing it. All right, and uh, try and make it easy for me because it was hard. All right, so... Remember our start, our warm up was our Mikins. We had our 20 Mikins. All righty. You have the 20 historical Mikins where you're just going right, left up, left, right up. All right. But we made the customization where we have the five normal, five reverse, five off foot, and then five reverse off foot. All right. So we're going to do that again. So if you want to follow along, all right, we can do just that. All right. So remember we have our five normal, five reverse, off foot. Reverse off when I'm going to do it with you guys. All right, ready, set, go. There's one, two. Oh, get in. Three, four. Let me just mute your mic, guys, if you haven't already. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse off foot. One. Two, three, four, and one. Five, reverse off foot. One, two, three, four, five. All right, keep going if you haven't finished. We're getting to 20. Great job, guys. Let's use. Great job. Some of you are still going. Get to that 20. Eventually, guys, we want to start to work on, now we want to try and get 20 in a row. So once you miss it, we want to start over again if you have more time. Obviously, we're a bit time restricted today. So we're just going to get our 20 with our four different finishes. Great work. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So in between every drill, as the spreadsheet says, we want to make two free throws. All right. So when you guys have time, um, not today. Well, I won't do it today. All right, because of time restrictions. We want to make two free throws after every drill. All right, simulate that game-like situation where, you know, you get fouled the free throw line. Uh, we have to go make two free throws when we're tied. All right. So just like last week again, we're going to work on our touches now. All right, so we have our two elbows. If you can't, if you don't have the space, I right, just imagine, like for me, I don't have the, the lines in front of me, but I kind of have a rough idea where it is. All righty, what we're going to do is we're going to roll the ball out. All right, come to a jump stop. Now, a lot of you will know what a jump stop is. If you don't, basically, it's, you come to a two-foot stop, and it just allows you to pick 
which foot you can pivot off. All right. Uh, if you don't have access to a ring, guys, you can work on all this footwork uh, in your lounge room, in the kitchen, wherever. You can just mimic it. If you don't have a ball, that's fine. Just roll out an imaginary ball, come to that jump stop, all right, and we're still working on the exact same footwork. Uh, if you don't have a ring and you try to work on your mikings, all right, you can still do all that footwork that we're just working on and just imagine it. All right, so we're going to spin the ball out, come to a jump stop. We're going to reverse pivot. All right, so we're going to reverse pivot. Take one dribble or two dribbles, whatever's comfortable. We're going to shoot a nice little floater. All right, we're going to make four on this side. We're going to make four on the other side. All righty. You can shoot with either hand. Where does it come from? So one, two, up. All right, there's one. Get your rebound, throw it back out. Jump stop, reverse pivot. There's two. Do we change hands when we do like either side? Yeah, good question. So coach Andrew Harms of the NBL One men uh, told told the group once in a training session or some quote that um, someone is more dangerous when he's mastered one move a thousand times compared to someone who's mastered a thousand moves one time. Basically, he was saying, when you come into these floater situations, you want to master one particular floater that you can always go to. So for me, I like right hand, one foot. For you, it might be left hand. For everyone else, it might be off a two foot stop. Try and master one, all righty. Obviously, we want to still work on our weak hand, but we want to come in a game situation to where we can just throw up a floater that's comfortable to us and we can knock it down. All right, so it's really up to you guys right now. There is always a time to work on our weak hand, but right now, we're going to try and wrap out our dom at once. Okay. All right, I'm on three. There's four. Oh, absolutely dominating. Let's pivot. There's one. Defense. Let's pivot. One dribble up. There's two. Try and go game speed if you can, guys. I'm going to two foot stop. There you go, three. And try and get one offhand here. One foot left. There you go, four. All right, if you haven't done that, keep going, keep dominating. Get that heart rate up. If you finished already, all right, we're going to step to the free throw line. All right, we're going to take, do your routine, and shoot two free throws. There's one. Take a couple deep breaths. Knock it down. There's two. All righty. Good. How we go with that, guys? Give me a thumbs up. If you got your, how many floaters were that? Been eight floaters. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So the progression with that, guys, is now if it's becoming, you know, too easy just shooting four. Now we want to try and do, you know, four in a row. All right, from each side. Okay. Sorry, just got a couple. We want to go four in a row each side. Now really hold yourself accountable. Maybe you want it four swishes in a row. Okay, really start to challenge yourself. Okay, make adjustments. Now, we're going to find our three cones. If you guys have three cones or three objects around you, find three objects that can be cones. So for me, there's a lot of dirt and rocks around me. All right, so I'm going to find three pieces of literal dirt, okay? And we're going to make that triangle formation. So we have one at the top. Okay, making that triangle. All right. Now, this is the most stereotypical quarantine workout ever because we are grabbing anything we can possibly use to replace the stuff we can get in a stadium or in any sort of facility. All right, so we have one cone at the top, one cone about one big step to the left, and one cone about one big step to the right, and we're making that triangle 
or Dorito formation. All right, so once you've done that, give me a thumbs up, guys. Great work. All righty, so these are just representing defenders, all right? So we have our split line defender. We have our help defense, whatever you want to call it. All right, and we want to try and get around them, okay, so we can get our finishes off. Now, the older we get, the bigger this defender is going to be, the more athletic they're going to be. Okay, so now we need to start getting crafty with our finishes. So our first finish is we're going to make any sort of move at the top. If you want to work on your hezzy dribble or you want to work on your between legs, you want to work on your behind the back, it doesn't really matter. Any sort of move to get to that right hand, we're going to go right hand first. Okay, we're going to use the cones as kind of, um, uh, well, I can't think of the word, uh, things that we can use to time our two steps. Alrighty, so when I see that top cone, I think, okay, good. One, two, and now we're scooping under. All right, we're going to make three each side, just scoop lay up. All right, we're scooping under that split line defender, make sure they don't block our shot. All right, here we go. The crossover, one, two, and finish. Get our rebound, dribble it out to the top. Crossover, one, two, up. Pull out to front. All right, now I want to work on a hezzy. Cool. Oh, hezzy, see you later. One, two. All right, now we switch sides. One, two, up. I'm going to get a little behind the back in. Oh, see ya. One, two. Last one. Hezzy. One, two. And up. Oh, the heart rate is really going. Keep going with that, guys. I want to make three each side. Great work. Some of you are killing it. Great job, Zach. Job, Lockie. Good. Bad luck, Richard. Chase down. Great work, guys. Keep going, keep going up three each side. Great job, Matthew. Chase, I don't know about that Lakers top, man. Do not know about that Lakers top. I go for Clippers. I go for Clippers. Good, good man. I used to be a Clippers fan when Chris Paul was there. I do it for Paul George. PG, wow. Good stuff, Alex. All righty. Me and Emily just giggling away, whatever. All righty. So, all right, now we've done our scoop lap and that defender's thought, all right, so this little white guy, Ben, he's now just scored a scoop lap on me. I'm going to try and block his stuff. All right, so he anticipates, or she anticipates a scoop layup. Okay, now we want to hook it away from that shot blocker's body. All right, now with this sort of stuff, this is going to become your best friend. All right, your best layup friend. Okay, with these two steps, you want to go one, and that second step, you want to get into the body of that defender to throw them off and then scoop away from them. All right, I'll try and do a live demo. I'll probably miss it because now I'm nervous. I have to cross over, one, two, and scoop away. All right, I've just knocked my dirt cone off. I right, said so into the defender, scoop away. We're doing three each side. All right, so make a crossover. One, two, and scoop up. There's one. I can count the demo. One, two. Oh. There's one, two. Oh, I cannot spy bucket. I'm lucky. Oh, thanks, mate. There's one, two. Now, remember, if you don't have a hoop or access to a cord or anything like that, all right, you can just work on this footwork. The crossover, one, two, up. All right, switch sides once you've done that. If you haven't gotten your three, keep going. One, two. Oh, that left is so nice. Make sure you're talking trash to your defenders. Crossover, you can't guard me. Two. Alrighty, last one, I can show you. One, two, and up. 
All right, if you finished early, okay, remember those two free throws. Keep going if you're having only three layoffs. No rush at all. I was probably way worse here, all right. Oh, make sure you're knocking down your free throws, unlike me. There's one. Keep going, guys, if you haven't done that. Good. Oh, I've just pulled my back. Getting old. If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to shoot them out. Good work, guys. Good. Absolute finishing king and queens in here right now. Some of you are close to dunking. A lot closer than I am. All righty. So our last one, okay, is going to be that up and under. All righty. So remember, we still have our one, two step, and we want to angle it out. All right, so that kind of angling our second step out, okay, just like a defender will in the game. We never have straight lines in the game. All righty. You're always going to be uh, about quarter past, a quarter past five, we finish up. All right. So it's very hard, okay, to stay on your line. Defenders are always going to push you off your line. Okay. So we want to stay on. Sorry, now I've lost my train of thought. All right. Defenders are going to try and push you off your line. What I mean by this, that is when you drive, okay, a defender is going to want you to loop around. Okay, so when we're doing this crossover, all right, we want to come straight down. One, two, and up. Okay, now, okay, we're going that we've just had that hook finish. So now we're faking that hook and we're scooping up. All right, we're doing an up and under. Okay, if that's too hard for you, okay, you can come to a jump stop so you don't have to worry about those two steps. Come to a jump stop, pump fake, and up. All right, still an up and under. Okay, so there's, there's two variations for you. If you don't have a hoop, remember, just practice the footwork and imagine it. All right, so let's do that. Three each side. Let's go. Chase is absolutely dominating the Chris Ball trivia. Oh, my back. All right. My back. I'll One, take two. There's one. Oh, Chris Paul probably did this drill, guys. <laughs> no, he didn't. But I'm making that up anyway. There's two. You can combo if you want. All right, two. There's three. One, two. There's one on the left. Wow, there. It's two. Oh, I'm not missing. Is he? One, two, look oh, up to you. It's three. You finished early. Remember those two free throws. If you haven't, keep going, keep hustling. Two. All righty, let's see you little legend. Great work, Leon. Great job, guys. Great job, remember. It's all good to make mistakes, okay? We're going to learn from those mistakes. Think what you did wrong, how to improve on it. Great job, Hunter. Cody showing off the handles, beast. Job, Lucy. Jack, sweet jumper, mate. Great job. All righty. 
So finish off that last rep, and then we'll move on. Oh, how's this sun, guys? Get around this. All righty. Thumbs up if you're all good to go to the next drill, guys. <laughs> We've got some friendly fire in the chat. Awesome. All righty. So, thumbs up. You guys good? Awesome. All righty. So, get your cones out of the way. For me, it's my pieces of dirt. All right, so you guys can get out of here. Go back to your other pieces of dirt. All right, move them out of the way or whatever you had in the way. If you had your dog, it would be super obedient to stay there. That would be awesome. You can move him or her out of the way. Now I've got dirt all over the court. Stupid Ben. Don't be like Ben, guys. All righty. So, again, all in full arrogance. Okay, the next drill. Thank you. Yeah, all good, Ava. Thanks for coming. See ya. All righty. So in all arrogance, this next drill is called Perry Finishing. All right, Ben Perry. All right, you're welcome. You can tell your kids about it. All right, so we're going to throw it out to that elbow area again. All right. Oh, I nearly forgot my own drill. All right, throw it out to the elbow area. Jump stop. Reverse pivot. Remember, we're throwing it down with that left hand. Okay, and we're scooping with that right through the legs and finishing up. All right, it's a lot to take in. All right, but that's the most advanced version. All right, so jump stop, reverse pivot, left, right, we're going up for a lap. If that's too hard, I totally understand if it is because sometimes it's way too hard for me. All right, we're going to jump stop, reverse pivot, crossover, okay, into a layup, all right? But we want to work in our off-step layups, okay, our off-step layups. So it can be one dribble crossover or that one dribble, one hand, sham god like I was doing. All right, we're going to go three each elbow. All right, so here we go, guys. Throw it out. There's one. Reverse pivot. Bang. Oh, gosh, I got stripped. There's two. Oh, I'm getting in the silly thing. There's three sides. One. Two. Oh, this is very Chris Ball esque. This finish. That off step. There's three. You finish early, you have two free throws. You're still going, keep hustling, keep getting better. Oh, good roll. One. There's two. Great work. <laughs> Balls going into the trees, into their neighbor's gardens. That's awesome. Great work, guys. Absolutely killing it. Remember, it's that reverse pivot, one dribble crossover. It's that off step, off, off step finish where I can't speak. All righty. Once you're done, give me a nice big thumbs up. Awesome. So many thumbs. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Give me a double thumbs up if you love blues, guys. Hell yeah. Awesome. All righty. <laughs> Ten thumbs in the chat. Awesome. Okay. So if you haven't finished that yet, that's fine. Just do it in your own time. Remember, you have so much time. There's literally nothing stopping you at the moment from doing all this work outside in the backyard, except for the weather, obviously, but everyone can shoot in the rain. Everyone's just a little bit scared of it, that's all. All right, it's the same thing. Throw it out. We're going back to our jump stop footwork. Okay, again, if you don't have a ring or anything, you can just mimic this in your lounge room or wherever. Jump stop, reverse pivot. So we're pivoting towards the middle. 
Alright? Uh, reverse pivot. One dribble. Through legs again or behind the back or crossover. Whatever you want to do. Okay? But we have to get to that. To get to our, back to our right hand. And now we're working on our inside scoop. Okay? So we have... We did our off step. Now we're doing our inside scoop. So we're going jump stop. Stay. Stay. Inside scoop. And you want to try and make it and not look like a silly guy like me. All right, so we're going for that inside scoop. All right, very okay. Oh, I messed it up. If you mess it up, just start again. Okay, okay. Oh, do it again. It's one. It's two. I lost an apple there. Would have been awkward. It's three. This is a bit harder, guys. You really have to twist your body. <laughs> Interesting name. Let's pivot. Bang. Oh, got fouled. Reverse pivot. One. Let's pivot. Two legs. Two. Ooh. All right. So if you finish, you don't two free throws. If you're still going, keep hustling. There's one. Oh, you gotta love the switch sound, guys. You really, really gotta love it. Great job. Shoot those two free throws. I'll get in. Good. Keep going, guys, if you haven't finished. If you're just waiting, if you've done your free throws, just work on your handles. Uh, you don't need much space to work on those handles. Get the ball on a string. Have fun with it. Imagine I'm defending you. You'd probably get stolen off. All right, bang, 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 bang. All right, good job. Keep going good if job. you haven't finished. Oh, nice looking jumper, Ellie. Unlucky. Oh, the pressure's on, Ellie. Pressure's on now, free throws. Oh, yes. All righty. Good job, Adele. Alex has a little split line defender in that overhanging tree. All right, thumbs up when you're ready to go to the next one, guys. Ben, um, yep. my name's actually Aiden instead of Adele. Aiden. Oh, sorry, mate. Aiden. Adele's a really nice name, though. All right, so. Okay, now our last one is that throw out. It's that reverse pivot. Okay, again, we're just emphasizing the jump stop and reverse pivots this training. All righty, he's in a game, okay, someone's going to be on your back in the half court. You're going to need to always come to that jump stop to hold him off. And you can go both ways with this pivot. That's why it's so important. All right, so we're coming to that jump stop. This is our last drill. Come to that jump stop. All right, reverse pivot, one dribble. And now we're working off a spin move into a little jump hook. All right, if that's too hard for you in one dribble, okay, I don't mind if you reverse pivot, take a couple of dribbles, bang. And shoot a nice little hook that way. All right, but we're reverse pivoting one dribble if you can, or a couple dribbles into a nice little spin move hook. All right, here we go. We're going three each way. Then we're going to warm down and then we're done ski. All right. There's one working that left. Get that nice touch. Oh. There's two. Oh, that's a sweet left. Not so sweet left. Oh. Oh, 
I'll get you in. This left is proving not to be too sweet. One little spin. There it is. Damn it, dizzy. That's all right. Why? Oh, that right is terrible. Oh, you're spinning away from that defender, that shot block, and they've cut you off. Hey, that nice little prime Derek Rose, two foot hook finish. Oh, it's going to the ball. Keep going, guys. Great job. Keep going, guys. Oh, I've got a couple more. Oh. If you finish, you can shoot those free throws. If you're struggling, oh, man. Keep persisting. There's two. Last one. Do a couple dribbles. One, two more. Get in. There's three. Great work, two free throws. If you're done, see how you guys are going. Great work. Great work, Talia. Grayson Zoe. Nice. Off the backboard land, if you don't mind. Job, Alex. That's all right. Get it back. All right. 20 more seconds, guys. All right. 10, 9, 8. Get as many reps as you can. 5. Four, three, two, one, and finish that last rep. All righty. Anyone got a sweat? Thumbs up if you got a little bit of a sweat up. I feel a bit hot. All righty. Great job. Okay, so to finish off before we warm down, we're going to knock down two free throws to finish off the skills part of the workout. All right, and then we're all good to everyone. Jump to your free throw line or what is your closest thing to it. Okay, knock down two free throws. Don't have a ring. Practice that form. All right, all right. Two, make sure you've got a routine. Oh, that beautiful swish sound. Doesn't happen often when I shoot, unfortunately. All right, so I've got to take advantage of it. me, my routine is just two pound dribbles into spin on the left. Oh, and a missed jump shot. Everyone's different though. Just get your routine, get comfortable. All righty. Great job, guys. All right. Once you've done your two free throws, Right, even if you haven't done them, even if you haven't made them, we'll do that at the end. Okay, after the Zoom. So right now, just throw the ball out of the way. Nice, safe spot. Kick it over your native fence. That'll be pretty funny. All right, and now we're going to warm down. All right. So everyone get a nice space again. Put your ball to the side. Mine keeps trying to roll back. Sorry, mate. Just stay over there. All right. And our first warm down exercise is going to take you a few steps. Okay, we're gonna stick one leg out like this and scoop it. Okay, we're stretching out that hamstring. Okay, take a few more steps and just switch legs. So scoop it, kind of like we're picking up a golf ball, golf ball that's under our foot, and just scooping it away. In basketball camp, um, uh, Abby calls it, no, Taylor calls it pick up daisies or something. Pick up daisies, oh gosh. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. All right, so picking up daisies, okay. On every step. Wow, what a pretty daisy. Let's pick it up. Couple more. Ooh, golf ball sounds way cooler, if I'm being honest, guys. 
I'll tell her I said that. Okay. Now we're going to do the uh, heel pull holds. Okay. So we're stretching out that quad. Okay. So just holding on the spot. We're down to 10 count. So 10, 9, 8. Stretching out that quad. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Shake it off. Switch legs. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right, we're just going to do the opposite. I do need to shoulder. So hold that for 10 seconds. I'm turquoise to some people. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Good, switch legs. Good job, guys. Oh, lovely, that's good. All right, so we're gonna, again, warm down that groin, so we're holding. Okay, stretching out that groin adductor for 10 seconds. Then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Oh, gosh, I am stiff. I'm about to be off balance as well. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to reach down and try and touch our toes. We're going to hold that about 10 seconds. Oh, not a flexible guy. Barely touching. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, we are all done today. Okay, so it's the same workout as last week. All right, hopefully it's a bit easier to uh, for me to explain it for you guys and whatnot, and we'll start to get better out together. All right, next week we're, we're going to add a few things. We're going to go, you know, we have to make this amount in a row to move on. Okay, we're going to add some different footworks, uh, and maybe I don't know, a fun little game at the end. All right. So if you have any questions, please. Don't be afraid to unmute yourself and ask me. Um, but if not, guys, you are free to go and do whatever you want that is within the bye. boundaries of the law. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Guys. Bye. No worries bye. at all, Legend. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. No worries. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye, thank you. All righty. Thanks, Do you have a question? Thank you. Do you have a... All right, no worries. Thank you. See you next week. Thank you.